uh, Jera now, uh, a little bit over 24 hours for, for a final. What does it mean? Uh, yeah, very quick turnaround, but in terms of uh, the goal of this trip, it's just been to lift another trophy and we've got, got the semi-final out the way. We obviously put in a lot of work to get to the final, so it would be a waste to not go there and give everything to try and you know bring another trophy home. Yeah, what? Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Just curious if you've spoken to Greg at all over the you know last six months or so. You know, had any contact with him at all or, or not? Uh, no, I've not personally had any contact with Greg. So um, obviously, when he comes uh, when he comes back into camp, it'll be you know good to see him, good to speak to him. Is it weird to have him announced like you know two days before a final? Um, you know, it's obviously I think you know it was kind of something coming. It's a it's a little bit it's not something I've really been involved in before so it is a little bit strange how it's panned out but ultimately you know um, like Greg's the right guy for the job uh, I think he's going to take this team forward like he has done in the past uh, and I think a lot of the players are really excited to work with him now. What have you seen from, from Canada? Um, uh, you know obviously before uh, we kicked off I was watching a little bit of their game uh, just in the hotel before we set off um, and you know it's a team we've played a couple of times already we know that the you know, really athletic team, good in transition, got quality individuals. So um, it'll be a test for us, but you know, it's something that I feel like we're ready for. It feels like it's, with all the respect to Mexico, like the clash of the best teams in Concacaf for the last few years. Uh, yeah, it definitely could be. Yeah, I mean, in terms of in terms of how we see ourselves, you know, um, uh, we know that we're a really quality team. We've got a lot of uh, talented players, and as a collective, we're really, really together, and that's something that's really strong with us. So. Um, you know, this is just another chance um, in a you know a competition to sort of test ourselves and um, you know go forward with another trophy. And the ultimate goal is to carry on and build on and take all this momentum into the next World Cup as well. You didn't beat them in, in qualifying. Um, does that come into this at all? Like a point to prove that you know you want to get a win against them? Um, no, I mean not specifically. I think obviously. Uh, it was an, it's annoying that we didn't beat them in qualifying because we want to beat everyone who we play against. But in terms of who the opposition is, I, I couldn't really care less. It's just another team, same as Mexico in the semi-final. It's obviously always a big game, but it was just another team standing in our way, and this is just another team standing in our way of lifting more silverware. What do you think of this this tournament? It's, I mean, it feels a bit like the UEFA Nations League one as well, where you get a feeling of it being a big tournament, but it's it's, it's compressed into like a week rather than like six weeks in hotels and all the rest. How, how do you, as players, do you like this Nations League format? Um, I enjoy it. Yeah, obviously it's spread out over a longer period of time, so it is it is different. It's a different format in terms of a tournament style, but um, it's good to get that experience of different ways and then obviously um, you know it's just another opportunity for us to win a trophy which is something you want to do in football. And do you feel this thing like Greg was talking yesterday about the culture of the team and, and how it feels like a family and so on do you think like six months on from the World Cup he'll be, he'll be coming back to a very similar sort of mood amongst the players? Or? I think so yeah I mean I don't think too much has changed obviously since he's been gone um, we've still, you know, tried to keep the same principles of how we play. We still tried to keep the same culture between the team and the togetherness of this team. So I don't think much will change. I think um, he'll obviously look to come back and tweak some things because, you know, we don't want to just stay the same. We want to keep improving and evolving as a team. But uh, in terms of the togetherness and the culture, I think that's that's pretty much the same. <laughs> Lastly, as a fullback, how do you prepare against Canada? Has Alfonso Davies, Eric Bay, all these players that are very good attacking wide. Um, yeah, they're a very good attacking team, and obviously today we're going to um, address, you know, what their strengths and weaknesses are, and how we can limit their strengths and, you know, um, take advantage of their weaknesses. But in terms of their individual talent, you know, a lot of us are lucky enough to play in top leagues, and we're used to playing against top players. So uh, it's just another, you know, another team and more opposition that um, the standard of players. It's not anything new to us. Why do you think they've been such a tough last oh, question? Last question. Why have they been such a tough opponent for you guys? Um, I couldn't tell you. I mean, obviously, going through the World Cup qualifying process when we played against them, it was um, a new a new process for all of us. Um, definitely, the uh, what sticks in my mind the away game, you know, uh, for both teams. But it was just difficult conditions, and um, you know, playing on turf in you know negative temperatures, it was uh, it wasn't easy. But um, that's all that's all in the past. Now we're a new team. We've grown since then, and um, nothing nothing in the past matters. It's just about winning this next game.